Fox 11 News has learned about a possible groundbreaking treatment for autism right here in Louisville. Coast Air Children's Hospital and the University of Louisville are planning a study of that new therapy. And it comes after a local mother reached out to Coast Air Hospital for help. WHAS Louisville's Joe Arnold has exclusive details tonight from the newsroom. Joe, what happened here? Well, Gary, first of all, to be clear, this is not a cure for autism, but it is a rare glimmer of hope for parents of autistic kids. The medical director at COSAIR tells me this treatment could be life-changing. Uh, if we find out this is as good as Mrs. Riggle thinks it is, um, and what we've seen, then it, it, it will be a huge impact. Tag. Tag. Thank you. The parents of seven-year-old Evan Riggle have been dealing with his autism since he was one. We have chronicled their search for effective treatments, including rare blood transfusions to boost his immune system. But Evan is far more receptive to this IV of glutathione, an amino acid in your body which neutralizes harmful molecules. So by helping boost their own natural glutathione uh, production, it reduces the oxidative stress in their body and they are less combative, they are more calm, and therefore generally more cooperative. As it was, the Riggles didn't know how long they were going to be able to care for Evan. I mean, Evan was getting bigger and stronger every day, um, and I wasn't. Glutathione has been talked about for years in alternative medicine. In February of last year, the Riggles brought their research to COSAIR. I have to tell you, I was very skeptical. Even today, Dr. Wright is very careful not to give false hope. Parents of autistic children are desperate for any answers. The, the problem with that is that the patients and their families then become susceptible to charlatans and people who want to take advantage of them, just make a quick buck off of somebody's bad fortune. But Evan's experience prompted COSAIR to give the glutathione therapy to three other kids. And Wright says two of them have also shown remarkable progress, including an eight-year-old boy. And so after about three or four treatments, his, uh, visited him when he was here. His mother said he dressed himself for the first time in his life. It has made a life-changing difference. Is Evan cured? No. Is he better? Yes. And progress is what we need in this area of autism. The next step, a study with 50 autistic children. Even if we see in half the patients what we've seen in these four, um, it, it would be remarkable for hundreds, of thousands of, of families. I'm, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I mean, I'm just a mom that cares about my kids. But obviously, um, I feel incredibly humbled that you know, they took me seriously and really looked into the research and that we've gotten to the place where we are. Now, COSAIR's phones are likely to ring off the hook right now once parents hear of the study. But Dr. Wright says, hold on, they are not ready for that. They are still writing their research protocol. But for more information, you can watch my entire interview with Dr. Wright right now. That's on WHAS11.com. Live here in the newsroom, Joe Arnold, WHAS11 News. See you then, Gary. WHAS 11 News has learned of a possible groundbreaking treatment for autism, and it's right here in Louisville. Coast Air Children's Hospital and the University of Louisville are planning a study. But first, they need to pay for it, and a 10-year-old may help foot the bill. WHAS 11's Joe Arnold broke this story at 5, and he has more here tonight at 5.30. Joe? Hey, Doug. Coast Air estimates it will cost about $400,000. The study would include about 50 autistic children. And the sister of one autistic boy is leading the way. Ten-year-old Michaela Riggle has seen firsthand the benefits of the glutathione IV that her brother Evan has been getting since February of last year. It's not a cure, but early results show it decreases aggression in autistic kids and improves their interpersonal skills, their socialization, and their verbalization. It's hard because um, when he wants something that we won't let him have, he'll get mad and frustrated, and um, he'll try to find ways to get out of the house, to throw things, to drop things, so we have to keep an eye on him. When Michaela heard that COSAIR and UofL need between two and $400,000 for this autism research, she began beating bracelets and selling them for the study. She walks in and pulls out a, a 
a, a, a baggie with $29 in it and then showed me all these uh, bracelets that she beaded. And Michaela has recruited friends and family to help and sell those bracelets at local events. She's raised about $1,000. That, that's a lot of, lot of beating. So she's beating to beat autism. And Michaela will be selling those bracelets this weekend at the St. James Court Art Show. For more information on what's now called the Michaela Riggle Glutathione Autism Research Fund, also to watch my entire interview with Dr. Wright, you can log on right now to whas 11 Love and science, the story of how one family's love for a child with autism is now helping other families with the same love and the same challenge. 12-year-old Michaela Riggle has made national headlines in her efforts to raise money for autism research. Well, tonight, some two years after Cosair Children's Hospital announced it would embark on a possibly groundbreaking autism treatment study, we have learned that study is underway. Evan Riggle was four years old when we first met him five years ago. We've chronicled his family's relentless search for both a cause and treatment for his autism. We've seen how his sister, Michaela, has taken a lead role in raising money for autism research and how she wanted to share the treatment that helped her brother with as many other children as possible. I could see it and our family could see it and there were uh, just friends who could just see that that was the most helpful treatment he's gotten so other kids with autism should have gotten it too. The treatment is a weekly IV of glutathione, a tripeptide of amino acids that help detoxify our body. Studies show that kids with autism have lower levels of glutathione. Cosair Children's Hospital now confirms that it is in the middle of a first-of-its-kind clinical study of glutathione on autistic children. It's the 13th week for five-year-old Brody Rich in the trial, but his family has not been told if he's getting glutathione or a placebo. He now uh, doesn't have to come in a stroller. He walks and holds our hand from the parking garage. Um, we're able to go in public places now without him being restrained and just he can walk and hold our hand. Brody's family met Michaela for the first time today, sharing the bond of autism. <laughs> it's a blessing. And a struggle <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> And like the Michaela and Evan we met five years ago, the love of seven-year-old Sydney Rich for her brother speaks volumes for those who have difficulty speaking for themselves. She cares for Brody as much as I care for Evan. Uh, it's great to see that relationship between them and uh, how much I love Evan, no matter what's, what, uh, if they have autism or not. And it's just uh, great to see that Sydney loves Brody and I love Evan. Now, when we first broke news of this groundbreaking study two years ago, Cosair was flooded with calls of, from parents of autistic children from across the world. Cosair asked me to stress tonight they are not currently accepting any additional children for treatment or for this study. And by the way, Michaela raised $275,000 toward that study through the Beating to Beat Autism Foundation donations and beaded bracelets sold at community events like... The St. James Court Art Show. This video taken today with that Michaela cutout. And Michaela this year is between uh, Magnolia, between 6th and St. James Court, and she will be at St. James all weekend long. As are we, by the way. We're going to be yeah. at uh, St. James right now, and we're 